What do you think about this? Normal or nope? This person says, I microwave my eggs. Ugh. I can't with that. No. Uh-uh. Okay. They said, you might want to try it because not only is it easier, but I stand by the fact that they taste better when you microwave them. You do 30 seconds, you stir and add cheese, 25 more seconds, stir, and then maybe an extra 10 seconds if needed. That is the best way to make eggs fight me. You're not normal. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not downing you. I think it's gross, but I, I just don't, I'm not a big egg guy. I've yeah. never cooked eggs in the microwave. To me, like, I love watching, especially like a scrambled egg. I like a thick fold on it. I don't like mixed up beaten eggs that are then scrambled. Do you always like cheese in your eggs? I would like some cheese in my eggs. For your scrambled, you'd want cheese in it, right? Sure. I mean, I don't always put it in there because just, you know, calories, but yeah. Usually if I'm eating eggs, it means I'm eating healthy. But cheese really does make the difference, though, in taste on stuff. I it had does, something yeah. the other day without cheese, mm -hmm. but it normally has cheese, and it sucked, man. Yeah, yeah I can't eat a breakfast sandwich without cheese, but I can eat eggs just like scrambled without cheese. Microwaving your eggs, though, I do think that would fall into the nope category. I wonder if maybe there is something to it. Could you make better eggs in the microwave by doing that strategy? I mean, it'd be a lot quicker, right? Probably a lot less messy. Well, I just feel yeah. the texture is going to be different. Because if, if you get a frozen pizza that's normal, you'd put it in the oven. Somet sometimes you'll put it in the microwave. It turns chewy. <laughs> microwave frozen pizza sounds gross. And I've done it so much in my in my pizza career. Okay. And, but it, it changes it. it. It's a completely different animal. Mm -hmm. Does that do it to the eggs as well? That's a great question, yeah. Okay, what about this? Normal or nope? I'm an adult male who drinks a glass of milk with any meal or whenever I go to a bar. <laughs> I'll take He's a double milk at the bar. Double shot of leche. The bar makes it extra weird. It's really in the nope category. You better check that expiration date too on that bar milk. Right. I don't know if bar milk sounds good. I don't know if bar milk's where I'm going. Yeah, that's definitely not normal. No. Nah. And, and what is it? When I was a kid, I drank so much milk. I loved milk all the time. I cannot tell you the last time I have had a glass of milk. I, I might be talking decades. It's one of them things, the older I got, it started grossing me out. The <laughs> yeah. thick milk coming out of a... An udder? I don't know. It's... The udder looks kind of phallic, if we can be honest. And I get it, milks and cheese and all that, but when it's buried and hidden, yeah. it doesn't bother me. But imagine drinking milk out in the heat. Out oh. of a carton. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, God. It's like Anchorman. <laughs> the red milk. The the red... Uh, Vitamin D the, milk. Yeah. The, thick, yeah. the, thick, the, thick, the red cap. The yeah. red cap. The milk's not red. You know what I mean. <laughs> the thick, The thick girl. I'll do a chocolate milk every now and then, but yeah, regular milk, no. You're definitely in the nope category on that. Okay, another one here. This says, every time I walk by a storm drain, I imagine my keys and phone dropping down in it. Is I, that normal? It is for me because it's happened, so. <laughs> okay. That's just life for him. Well, yeah, dude, if you drop your keys, you're not getting them back. Okay, do you have that? Phobia, or do you have that thought whenever you go by a drain that thing's going to want to eat my keys and wallet? Yes, I do. Yes, okay. I think everybody right. has that. So you're saying that's normal. Is it normal to think also the alligators live in the sewer and they're going to eat you if you fall through? Because no. that's how I was always raised. Alligators are in the sewers. No, alligators are in the pond. But they're also down there. Alligators are in anywhere there could be water. Yeah. Are they by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I know you're making a joke. Uh -huh. I don't know where to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about this? Normal or nope? Washing your feet in the shower. Is that normal? It is normal, I believe. In fact, I saw a study that said 60% of adults say yes, they do. So that is normal. I wash the tops, not the bottoms. And I think you guys wash the bottoms of your feet too, right? I scrub the bottoms with a pumice stone. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Jeez. Yeah, I don't <laughs> She uh, doesn't sound pretentious at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm like uh, I do. Why bother? I I I yeah, I, my my dogs are always barking, so I I like to crisscross applesauce and get down in that feet area. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious how many people wash the bottom. 
of their feet. It feels good. You need to have your bottom scraped. I would love it. That would be good for you. Can we take care of my hip first? <laughs> we can keep working working down. The six specialists we need to go to. Yeah. Can we add a seventh, a pedicurist? Oh, that does sound so nice right this second. Oh. What they do is they take off that crispy layer the the how, when you walk on tile how it sounds like you're tap dancing they take that off and then what you're left with is a soft like puppy foot and i've been doing a lot of gardening on rocks lately mm. so i got bruised feet on uh, the bottom okay yeah i could mm -hmm. you could use a little pedicure oh man that okay nice normal or nope somebody just texted in they said i eat banana sandwiches with mayo instead of peanut butter Ugh. you're a monster that is repulsive Gosh, that sounds gnarly Ugh. that would be a disgusting punishment why would you even write that to somebody uh. i've heard i've heard that before though Ugh. people people put mayo on some weird things and people put mayo on a grilled cheese and that just makes me angry oh, hot mayo grosses me out you got to use butter what are we doing and i can t it, it's even it's got like a, a a stench to it. It does. A weird gross stench on a grilled cheese when you heat it up with mayo. It stinks because mm -hmm. you're not supposed to cook it that way. All right. We asked, do you wash the bottom of your feet in the shower? And 85% of people say yes, they do. Yeah. Washing the bottom, too. I'm not shocked. It's part of your body. If you don't wash it, it's going to get dirty. Okay. And feet are, I mean... Do you have that skin layer thingy, too? I don't because I get regular pedicures. I always get them to scrape it off. But if I didn't, I would. I would have that hard thing like you have on your feet. My mom had the hardest feet. You could hear her yeah. from uh, two okay. rooms away. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Oh, my mom's coming. Da -da -da -da. She sounds like wow. she's tap dancing it did. It sounds, when she's barefoot. Sounds like she's doing a little routine. <laughs> <laughs> she, she had some jack. Get it, Mom. Rest in peace, Mom, but your feet were jacked up. She didn't even say that. <laughs> okay.